KCB Gardener, and this is my colleague James Williams. Hello. James and I just got back from a dinosaur dig in Montana where we visited a couple of dig sites. One of those places there were dinosaur bones that were literally sticking out of the cliff walls and yet the paleontologists there had no plans to go after those bones. We wanted to know why not. Just because a lot of it depends on, you know, the condition of the bone, what bone we think it is, and where it's at. Right here, this is all of a debris flow. This is this contact, the darker layer is the debris flow. So this happens like when the glaciers or whatnot would come across the surface, that would be the toe of the glacier, what they would push in front. And this was a lot of the stuff that got, you know, that might have been up, you know, more and whatnot and got eroded down. A lot of these bones are in this debris field, this area could have been moved by the glacier or even, you know, excessive flooding or rainwater from up, even higher up in this edge could have been washed down a bit and then subsequently covered up. So the original context of these animals is lost. Exactly. It's lost millions of years ago. Exactly. If we were to just say, regardless that this was a debris flow, just at the bones and the hillside, we also, even though we may like to work everywhere and anywhere, we have to think about the safety. I mean, if you can see the bone here, you know, just trying to get a crew down here would be a little hard. There'd have to be a lot of time digging just to even be able to safely work there. That's, yeah, there are a lot of factors that determine whether or not you, know, you should actually work a site or not. If you want to see more dino stories from our trip to Montana, check out discovery-news.com. And if you have any other science-related questions, please email me at whytellmewhy at discovery.com.